By the time that the first bony fish evolved in the Silurian period, there seems to have been a new structure, a swim bladder. The swim bladder is typically associated with buoyancy, given that is what most bony fish use it for today. But it seems that the ancestral function was different. The ancestral function was to use it to exchange oxygen with air. In addition to the gills extracting oxygen from the water, these fish were capable of gulping air and extracting oxygen from the air through the walls of this swim bladder. A number of fish use the swim bladder for this purpose today. And these fish include some of the most primitive ray fin fish known, such as the uh, gar and the bowfin. Note the size of this swim bladder in, this, in these fish. It is a prominent sac, as you can see here in this gar, which is a primitive chondrostian ray fin fish alive today. Note the size of this swim bladder. It stretches the length of the abdominal cavity. Note that it empties into the esophagus the same way that amphibian lungs do. And note that like lungs, it has internal subdivisions. The same can be said of this bowfin, where the swim bladder stretches the length of the abdominal cavity, it empties into the esophagus, and it is internally subdivided. Note in these microscopic images of a swim bladder cross-section that the blood capillaries bring blood very close to the air in the lumen of the swim bladder. In lungs, we see the same arrangement, and across this thin barrier, gas exchange occurs as oxygen from the lumen, uh, in the case of lungs and air sac, here the swim bladder, can then pass uh, to blood. In sarcopterygian fish, this one single swim bladder used for respiration would be divided into a pair of structures which are known as lungs, as in the lungfish depicted here, which would be the ancestors of amphibian lungs. The teleosts, such as this perch, they modified the swim bladder so that it performed less of a respiratory function, although some uh, teleos use it in that way today, and it functioned primarily in buoyancy. And this allowed the teleos to adapt to a great variety of swimming styles and is a large factor in the success of this group.